How many of you believe organic commodities are essential part of our life nowadays? From Instagram, we have ordered few items. I'm going to uh, share these items with you, which is going to be very useful. And hope you will like these ones because these are something very essential in our daily part of our lives. So let me uh, introduce you these things. These are millets, uh, different kinds of millets, and a different type of rice called valchuri rice. Uh, so these things that we have. been sent from a pure box instagram so let me introduce the pure box pure box is a complete store for organic com- commodities and we have bought this pearl millet banyan millet and the valchuri rice valchuri rice and banyan millet we have tried it and it's so tasty also plus the health benefits considering it's organic in nature so if you do uh, require these products do connect them they do have all kinds of vegetables millets oils jaggery honey pulses and rices so yes i will be sharing their instagram account and their if you require further details i shall share it in our video's description box plus i shall pin it as a first comment in the comment section and the next part of a video i'm going to share our small shopping uh, glimpses glances so yes we have been to a store baby hug where we get all kinds of dress materials for small babies until 6 years of age so basically this is uh, near to our, near to our home and it's situated in seaport airport road uh, arnakulam Alhamdulillah one of my friends have got a new baby so we are going to a uh, gift her with a new dress so as part of that what my husband uh, conveyed me like i can go and then do shopping till he comes with the like, my kids from school so i have went the and i started selecting here by the time my kids have arrived with my husband and here you can see uh, there are different kinds of uh, frogs very lovely ones very beautiful ones in fact we so i had selected the dresses and once shahid has arrived with kids he had built it and we left from the that was a lovely shopping from baby hug and next part my of my video will involve a small uh, lunch party so that we have been invited for lunch to my uncle's home so as part of that we are going to their place We 
we were the first ones to reach there and afterwards my mother and my father had come and here there is a small little one uh, you can see her, her see him in Aisha's hands and let me introduce my uncle he is my father's eldest brother so we had very delicious prawns biryani and served with fish fry plus raita and mint chutney and papadam too so yes that was our great lunch alhamdulillah After having lunch, Aisha and Dalia wanted to take IZ for a walk. So what we decided is like we will give a small walk near, near and around the street where they are. So we had been there and went back. Next part of our video will include a recipe from with millets. Uh, the millet I have chosen is banyard millet here. So millets are a high source of dietary fiber, both soluble and insoluble. So here it's a good uh, health benefits that you can replace with rice or any other grains. So here I will go for. Um, upma that we can prepare with this millet so here i have taken uh, six beans and then one carrot so what i am going to do is i have taken one cup of banyard millet and i am going to wash it properly after washing drain it and keep aside straining it out all the water aside and let us take an earthen pot here I have added one tablespoon of ghee once the ghee has been little bit hot I'm going to add or transfer all the banded millets to this pot and give a good stew once added Roast it well and keep it on the flame till we get a good roasting smell and once this is come out we will be ready to add water. So the same cup, uh, one cup of water I am going to add here. So the one cup of millet plus one cup of water. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to cook this millet before I have further preparation and we will keep it aside once cooked so once cooked let us transfer it to a plate and keep it aside so the cooking time will take around 7 to 10 minutes and once 10 keep it aside and onto the same pot or we can take another pot and add two tablespoons of ghee here once the ghee has been heated i am going to add uh, karinji iragam or kalonji seeds that we call and one teaspoon of urad dal one teaspoon ginger finely chopped and one medium sized green chilli finely chopped 15 cashews so when we add karinji ragam or kalonji seeds it's going to add extra uh, taste to our millet dish or upma that we are going to prepare today and then goes 15 shallots finely chopped give a good mix and add the chopped beans add chopped carrots give everything a good mix once added
quickly cook further meanwhile i'm going to add uh, salt required enough salt to taste according to your levels and plus curry leaves handful of curry leaves and give a good mix again After 5 minutes of stir fry I'm going to add 1 and 1/2 cups of water we have taken 1 cup of millet plus 1 cup of water earlier now we are going to add 1 and 1/2 cups of water and once the water has been boiled with the veggies we are ready to add our cooked banyan millet here and give a good mix now let it cook further Initially I have kept it in high flame and afterwards I have switched it to lower flame and closed the lid and cooked further for around 10 to 15 minutes and here you can see our yummy upma is ready with banyan millet is it guys very easy to prepare if yes do give a shot and do share your valuable comments this one is highly filled with my own creativity so do give your valuable comments i would be very happy to receive those So speaking about taste, it's really awesome. So here, as you can uh, see, I have added the kalonji seeds. Kalonji seeds give an extra flavor here. Apart, uh, in spite of we have not added mustard seeds. So it's a great, great, a uh, different touch. This kalonji seeds give a good, great different touch to our upmas. So to give a shot with this, normally we used to have. Um, rava upma here i have tried it with millet upma so this is a small shot from my uh, father's brother's home uh, basically So let me introduce our new member to our family. Uh, so meet our Rosie. <laughs> Rosie is the name which my mom had given. So Rosie is our cat. So she has been here um, in my uncle's home uh, for few weeks. So when they return to Dubai, they will hand it over to my brother. Sad kya lagta hai sirf. So these were the updates for today, and hope you have enjoyed our today's vlog. If so, give a good, good thumbs up, and also if you are first time seeing our videos or if you haven't subscribed yet, do give a good subscribe. 
also uh, do like share and press the bell icon so that any new notifications from our and will be updated to you soon and also alhamdulillah that was such a cute lovely lovely vlog for the day uh, the millet upma and also don't forget to try millet upma and also do check out pure box story freak out and yes let us wind up for today inshallah we will see in the next vlog till then bye bye assalamu alaikum